We do begin the readout tonight with the cowardice of Senate Republicans. As we speak, they're planning to block the creation of a bipartisan commission to investigate the January 6th attack on our Capitol and our democracy. And that vote could take place at any moment. For the first time in this legislative session, Republicans are set to deploy the legislative filibuster, the Jim Crow era rule that allows the minority party to obstruct the will of the majority, requiring 60 votes rather than 51. It's the clearest signal yet that Republicans have no interest in getting to the bottom of the siege that nearly decapitated our government, even as the number of people charged in that attack now approaches 500. As President Biden suggested earlier today, the Republican opposition has no credible explanation. I can't imagine anyone voting against the establishment of a commission on the greatest assault since the Civil War on the, on the Capitol. I should note that Republicans are willing to block this commission despite the sacrifices of the three officers who died after defending them that day. Brian Sicknick, who lay in state with honor in that very Capitol, as well as two others who took their own lives after the MAGA insurrection. In fact, Republicans heard today from Sicknick's mom and his longtime partner, among others who personally lobbied them to vote yes. Does it anger you, Mrs. Sicknick, to hear senators who do not support this commission and what emotions do you feel when you're confronted with that? This is why I'm here today. I, you know, usually I'm stay in the background and I just couldn't I couldn't stay quiet anymore. I think it's uh, very disturbing that anyone would not want to support this. I mean, why would they not want to get to the bottom of such horrific violence? Doesn't matter that Brian's cause of death was natural. He still died defending them that day. And Officer Liebengood and Officer Smith, they died as a result of the trauma that day. Republicans won't just be ignoring the trauma of those officers. Their vote against the commission will also be an affront to the staffers, including in their own offices, who lived through the violence of that day. As Roll Call reports, some congressional employees are shaken by what they see as whitewashing of the attack by Republican lawmakers. One even said that when I see those members in the hallway or in the basement, I think to myself that they wouldn't care if I was dead. This comes as a new Quinnipiac poll today found that a majority of Americans, 55 percent, say that the events on January 6th were an attack on democracy that should never be forgotten. That seems to be a pretty obvious reason to support a commission. However, 39 percent say it's time to move on. And that clearly is what Republicans like Mitch McConnell want to do. McConnell admitted that he doesn't want to be talking about the insurrection by the time the midterms roll around next year. And here's what he said about those who support the commission. On Tuesday, they would like to continue to debate things that occurred in the past. They'd like to continue to litigate the former president into the future. We think the American people going forward and in the fall of 22 ought to focus on what this administration is doing to the country. According to Politico, McConnell was even more blunt in a closed door meeting where he warned Republicans that approving the commission could hurt the party's midterm election message. In other words, Mitch McConnell knows the results of a bipartisan commission would make Trump and the Republicans like himself look bad. And given that 35 Republicans in the House passed the bill over the objections of Kevin and other members of the GOP leadership last week, Mitch is desperate to keep his caucus in line. In fact, CNN reported that McConnell has made has even made the unusual move of asking wavering senators to support filibustering the bill as a personal favor to him. Perhaps most disingenuous, however, was McConnell's laughable assertion that he doesn't want to focus on, quote, things that occurred in the past. He actually said that with a straight face, even as the MAGA base of his party and in his state parties obsess over trying to overturn the long ago completed presidential election in Arizona and other states. And that brings us to the real reason many rank and file Republicans don't want to probe into the insurrection. It's because they're too busy defending and profiting off the big lie that inspired it. Here's Senator Ron Johnson just this morning. Okay. Did Biden, did he legitimately win the election? Oh, he certainly is president of the United States. So okay, you so don't think that Biden legitimately won the election? I'm, I'm saying he's the legitimate president of the United States. Yeah, he's, he's the president of the United States. But see, that's the fundamental problem. What, 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 like, I, I, don't, I don't know what all happened. I don't, I don't know the effect in these full states. I don't know. I don't would know. a commission help? Not this commission, no. Mm -hmm.